hello viewers welcome to my channel in this video i want to show everyone a quick one on how to import kml features into autocad directly without lips or any subsidiary apps so let's get started so these are extracted features i have i have a, a property here in the boundary line which is in yellow and um, the road features which is the access road linking to it and um, if you have other features you want to extract you can just digitize everything however i'm going to show you the different formats that your features is going to come out as in autocad so i have actually joined this property one with the part two under my details folder so i'm going to join the second property with the polygon two so that you are going to see the different format your features is going to come out as in civil 3d so let's get started so to digitize features is quite easy if you are working on a folder you come on that folder you come to add then you scroll to polygon if you are using part you click on part so i have actually used the part to to join this property to extract it but the second property will be extracted with the polygon tool so i'm just going to click on polygon then i'm going to name this property tool therefore i'm going to come to the color and style make it to be outlined increase the width to be five change the color to yellow all right so i'm okay with this then i'll go ahead to digitize the property of interest so i'm done digitizing this second property then you click on ok so your feature is going to appear if you are working under a folder if you are not working under a folder it's just going to appear under your temporary places so after you are done extracting any features of interest you will come to that feature so all my features is under my details folder so you come to that feature and you click on it when you click on it right click then you scroll down to save place as you click on the save place as so it's going to give you an advantage to save your work into a particular folder however i'll be saving it under my youtube folder so you should define a path that you want your kml or kmz file to be saved so under the file name it's going to bring out the default layer name you have on google earth pro on it however if you want to rename it you can do so by renaming it under the file name but i'm going to leave that the way it is in my own case then the save as type you click on that so any format you are interested in is what you have to check in but i recommend kmz all right so when you click on the save as type which is the file format you now click on save then that's all in google earth so you can minimize your google earth pro then you launch into your autocad Please, if this is your first time joining me on this channel, you can check under the description as well as the comment section to see other methods of importing KML Google Earth features into AutoCAD. Thank you. So this is my AutoCAD work environment. I'll be using the AutoCAD Civil 3D in the course of this video. So when you launch into your Civil 3D AutoCAD, you click on this C3D icon here. When you click on that, this window is going to pop up. Then you scroll down to drawing utilities under drawing utilities you come to drawing settings then you click on that so what you are going to do here is the uh, coordinate reference system setup because the default uh that on the google earth pro uses is the wgs84 so you need to set it up to where you want your autocad drawing to be on the coordinate reference system of your features to be imported into so here under the unit and zone you scroll down to drawing units make sure yours is on meters angular unit degrees except you want to use any units otherwise so i prefer meters and degrees then you scroll down under this no datum no projection you click on the drop down it's going to bring out other options of the projection system so i'm in nigeria so my features is in nigeria so i'll just search for my country nigeria and i'll just scroll down and here it is so depending on the country that you have actually digitized your feature on you search for it 
then you click on that country of interest so under the Nigeria, I have the available coordinate system here. You click on the drop arrow, then you are going to see all my coordinate systems that is available under Nigeria. So here, my drawing, I want it to be on the MENA UTM zone 31. So I'm going to click on that. So when you click on that, it's going to appear here. Then you click on apply and OK. That is very important to do in AutoCAD. When you are done with that, you will now come to your command line, then you search for map import. Map import. So you are going to see different options. So this first option is the command of interest, map import. You click on that. So it's going to give you an advantage to scroll to the folder where your data is. So in case you are not seeing your own folder, you click on desktop, then you search for wherever your data is saved so i have it under my youtube folder and like i saved it earlier it is my details so you click on that so in case your files of type is showing something else all right maybe showing something else you will click on the drop down arrow here then you scroll to look for the google kml this option you click on that so that all your kml files can be displayed on your work environment so when you click on the files of type which is of interest kml slash kmz then you click on the kml file you have actually extracted from google earth pro when you click on that it will appear here then you click on ok it's going to bring out this window there's nothing much to do here you just click on ok therefore if you can't see anything on your screen you click on zoom extent so guys this is just it on the screen the features i have actually extracted from google earth pro remember i said i digitized this as polygon why i digitized this with the part two so the difference is that if you digitize or extract your features with the part two it's going to come out as polyline however if you use the polygon tool to digitize or extract your features it is going to come out as polygon so depending on the format you are interested in, you can now use that particular tool in Google Earth Pro before you import it into the AutoCAD work environment. Therefore, that is how to import KML file from Google Earth Pro into AutoCAD directly without Leaves or any other subsidiary apps. There's no cost for alarm. This drawing is directly georeferenced. You can ID any of the points to see the coordinates so you can see this is the coordinates and everything is georeferenced and directly the way it should be so you can make use of this drawing to provide any detail or thematic maps of your choice if you find this video helpful and informative do well to hit on the subscribe icon as well as turn on your notification to keep getting valuable tutorial from this channel freely thank you see you in the next video